good news. This is not the worst case scenario. Hurricane Nestor never became a hurricane and is now still a tropical storm. Don't get me wrong, though. It is still dangerous. It is not a worst case scenario. It is spinning up tornadoes on the west side of Florida. So please stay aware. I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7. And this is a Sunday morning, Saturday Night Live, Doomsday Clock, Drive In Theater update on all things. That, you know, I, as your planetary defense commander, we want to keep you filled in on while keeping humor and hope alive. I'm going to be all Kathy chatty all over the place. Uh, probs, because that's the energy. And I've been doing Thor news for almost seven years. And the planetary defense commander thing encompasses a lot of shit. And so part of that shit is today was the first all-female spacewalk repair station. And um, I watched it live. A, Christina's helmet camera was crappy. And B, it amazed me during the whole time in the chat section, it just had a bunch of adults screaming flat earth. And for seven years at Thor News, I've been saying, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot verify either way. So if we got away from war and more towards exploring and building new infrastructure in the future, you know, I could verify with, you know, like a Lucky Martin party bus, you know, how about playing golf on the moon? I mean, or at least go hanging out there so I can know either way. Jetpacks, I don't even know. Like, I can't verify, you can't verify. But it was just ridiculous watching, you know, when I grew up and it was like, oh my God, the space program is amazing and we're going to do all this stuff with it. And then it's like we're in a flat earth nihilist petroleum debt economy. <clears throat> So nobody can have a decent conversation about anything because like even start it, you know, I'm like, hey, can I talk to you about space? And then you just get like 30 people screaming in your face, flat earth, flat earth, flat earth. It's hard to have any type of discussion. You know, it's always, I don't know. It's just, it was a crazy moment of, you know, like I'm 47 and the seven year Thor news. The, one of the reasons that I don't make as many space videos is to make them all the time is because I just get so many angry people who come and yell flat earth at me. And I'm like, I can't verify either way. You know, if we work together and get past the petroleum engine, maybe we can figure it out. I don't see the value in just screaming a shape. You know, I'm pretty sure it's not perfectly round or perfectly flat. Let me take this moment out to say that boobs are magic. And this video is sponsored by three subjects that loom large in 2020 and beyond. Earthquakes, farming, and infrastructure. Can you see, like, so there's Nestor. And it's almost like, let me try and draw this, can I? How are you doing? What are you wearing? Did you have a good day? This thing is still dangerous, but look, it's totally lopsided. Like this thing right over here has been pushing hard on it. Keeping it from any type of serious formation, which is great news. Um, and so it's like, I don't know, there's his arm and his It's like a guy with the weird lump here. You see it? Because, you know, earlier Nestor was a cute bear. And after that, I fell asleep. But I'm awake on the late night shift. But see that? So it's like a dude. Maybe I drew his eyes. So, you know, it's like a cool protector wearing a giant, like, Native American headband type. <clears throat> and for you know, unfortunately, apparently, he's aroused by the heat in the. So that makes this conversation a little awkward, I guess. Yeah. So I slept, and then I, when I woke up, I was tireder than when I fell asleep. But it was good news 
that this is not the worst case scenario. But I still like I have all these people nagging at me. He said I was gonna destroy everything. Um no. I thought it, thought it would be intenser. I thought it would be category three to be honest. But I'm very glad that it was not. Um And I'm definitely hoping and praying we don't lose any lives here. But it looks like it's definitely going to have some serious waves, heavy rain. Uh, there are definitely tornadoes spinning up all up and down his leg. And so as planetary defense commander, uh, I got to say we should give a, a medal of honor to a cranky weather guy who has done an amazing A++++ job all year long. Uh, as like a medal of honor for meteorologists and giving his information out to free for everybody and someone I've recommended to you guys all year of whatever I say double check it with him and other people so you know because I'm not a weatherman I'm your planetary defense commander so it's like I say it's just a weird day but I recommend to both parties to Brexit to China to everybody on the planet that we focus on peace and quantitative pleasing in 2020 for Team Earth, man, is I mean, I defend every human being, every animal, and the planet itself. And so today was, you know, it was cool to watch this and to dream that like one day maybe I can drink margaritas in a high upper atmosphere and look down. You know, that would be amazing. And they're sinking a whole lot of money into the moon, man. Like I covered it in 2015 when they did the Space Act of 2015, which pretty much opened up all planets, the moon, and everything to corporations. It was a big deal. And so, you know, the consciousness of Americans definitely has gotten stuck in the mud, just politics, where you, you can't, I can't talk about big ideas like building cities or, you know, the truth of the, the space program, like, I like, or even quantitative easing with the Federal Reserve, which is now pumped in like half a trillion dollars into the markets in a month. You know, it's, so it's like a weird day for me. So it's good news that Crystal River is not getting hit by a Category 3 hurricane. But just to watch this thing, and it was, I was unhappy that her camera was crappy. You'd think that you'd get a decent camera. Man, you could fit a margarita machine on there. So yeah, dude, did you know before Brexit, it was like all the Euro states kept needing to get it bailed out, and then they had a Brexit vote, and nobody needed to get bailed out again. So that's crazy. Thanks again to Cranky Weather Guy. He's done a fantastic job. And part of it is, I did estimate that the air alignment would bring uh sunspots like it did last year and I think the year before and so they didn't show up this year so we did not see the intensity in the hurricanes that may be a correlation like this is an ongoing scientific study I'm doing pretty good so far uh so that's cool so thank you son yay but we'll have to keep doing research thank you Irene Kiores. Coronal holes, man. But as the um we get hit with all the solar wind and the solar minimum, uh that causes the plant to grow. And so that's why it's being more earthquakey and volcano y, because we've been having some earthquakes in the Pacific Northwest this week. Look here. At the solar North Pole. There's a big coronal hole. Here we go again. My friends. Another shot of cold air. Round four. On the house. Why are the Batmans fighting? Why is everybody fighting? All the time. Come on. Y'all calm down. Can't you see? Raza Gull is flushing us. To be divided and conquered, and women need love. Rob Delp Weather, Tropical Storm Nestor, 
11 p.m. Winds 61 mile per hour gust to 70 moving northeast at 23. Pressure 1,007 millibars. I think 997 was about 996 was about as low as it goes. That's good news. So we got flood watches. And hey, my virus and threat protection ran and nothing was detected. <laughs> that is hilarious. Because my box is so uh watched, shall we say. Okay. So yeah, we do have heavy rain, and like I said, we're getting a lot of tornado spin-ups along the shaft of Gulf of Mexico, Florida side. Nathan Nerd pointing out, anyone else notice how Earl and Nestor look the exact same? Except Earl is a hurricane. Nestor is obviously not. It was just interesting to me. It is interesting to me too. And like I said, this one's got the bulge. Make of it what you will. So, while I slept, Cranky Weather Guy had you guys covered. One last look, the blob near the Florida-Alabama border is the 850 low, surface is south thereof. Line of storms with their jagged hooks, foretelling of severe weather and rotation is what should be the primary focus as that comes north and eastward while slowly expanding eastward. Footage on I-4 shows that a semi is flipped over due to a strong tornado likely passing over. This is why tornadoes are very dangerous at night. Technically, they're dangerous anyway, anytime, but it's like getting them at night is extra sucky. Like, oh crap, a tornado. Always respect the polygon as it shows where the storms are going. Dun, dun, dun. Did you ever see that uh, movie Trick Norris, The Polygon? Hey, Dave Chappelle performed three surprise shows this weekend. He is Asteroid Fight Club. I wish I could go see him. How come I don't ever get to win tickets? Crap. Whatever. Okay, cranky weather guy goes 16. Hydro estimator. Instantaneous rain rate. Fills in the radar blanks. Some heavy storms coming in overnight into the early morning hours. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's done this process thousands of times over Earth. So this is things that actually carved out the coasts. Simon Brewer, Nestor, has properties of an extra tropical cyclone, not tropical. It's an extra tropical cyclone enhanced by subtropical Gulf convection. And it is flippy floppy and lopsided in a sh shaggy mess. As the system comes in the line of healthier weather, it starts to arc in general extrapolation. So yeah, some people are going to get flooded. That does not lose anybody. Um, definitely, you're going to get some straight line winds. Remember when the power lines go down? That puts electricity in places and you don't definitely want to touch any broken power lines. Me solo. Complex over central Florida. Heating northward. The other complex of the coast heading for the west coast. Our heavier line still in the blind spot out in the gulf. Strong complex of storms off the Florida coast creeping in. Also analyzed was the system had and would maintain a good 850 millibar low circulation that already featured strong winds aloft in the east quadrant. All we needed were the thunderstorms to mix them down, and we have that. So follow the storms. Find the winds as it heads inland. So yeah, it's still going to be causing problems and be dangerous. So I don't want my flipping happy-go-lucky, glad to be alive. Oh my God, I can't believe I've been doing this for seven years. Attitude to get anybody to let their guard down. Plenty of high surf with this one as seas are pushing 20 to 30 feet now. The expansive fetch has been ongoing since the Western Gulf. A look at the Estof's surge guidance. See, this says 994. 
So I uh, mean, it might become a hurricane landfall, and I don't want to down like some six inch rain around the would be the semi landfall area. So definitely let I got regardless of name, you know, this take it very, very seriously and look for anomalies until it passes. But we're having parties in Tallahassee. This is a fun kitty storm. So that is great news. It's way better than Hurricane Maria. Or even for me, Dorian. When it was like it looked like Dorian was gonna freaking flat in Florida. And it stopped on a dime right before it. Was it two hundred miles offshore? And sat there for a while. Although it was killed a bunch of people in Abaco Islands. And now uh, oil rigs have showed up there. Um anyway, I just it's been A, it's for seven years, you know. My most personal hurricane moments were like Maria, because Planetary Defense Commander, we lost 5,000 people in a single storm. Harvey, because that was crazy. And then uh, Dorian, because the hour were right before Dorian stopped. I, 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 you know, worst case scenario, that thing flattened freaking South Florida. So I'm just so happy that. That was not the worst case scenario. So it's always fun when you get the best, you know? And we were informed. It did you so. Who knows? It may go to 904, but like the. We'll see. Anyway, but I'm just. I'm happy. And still kind of weirded out by the. You know, the whole Brexit trade war. Uh. 20 Egyptian coffins are going to open thingy. So, everybody stay cool and I'll keep you posted. I'm Kathy Chatty tonight, baby. God bless everyone.